we're going to show you how to make Fall Guys in Minecraft. Now this is a big project. Now I made my own version which you can download in the comments. There will be a tutorial on how to download it properly. So first I'd recommend uh, heading onto YouTube. So first you obviously want to build it. So go to search and search up just a gameplay so you could do whirly gig gameplay and we can see we've got a channel here if we click on it you can see they made tons of levels which can give you ideas but they haven't made new ones so i'm just going to click on this and this is basically the whole map so you can see how to recreate all the all this stuff right here i've already done that um Obviously this is going to take you a while, but you can just do this for all maps. And then you sink down here at uh, the bottom. Uh, nothing's really happening. And a lot of and we need to get some blocks moving because of on the whirly gig. So I'm going to come to the start here. And I'm going to do forward slash tp at self. And then I'm going to go to 300. I built this at 150. Uh, so, I don't know, 300, just double. I'm going to do these little circular things here. So, let's see how wide it is. It's 17 blocks by 17. Uh, to place this block here, do forward slash fill, squiggle, 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 uh, light, blue concrete, or whatever block you want. I've also got a texture pack on, so if you want to know how to make a texture pack, which I probably recommend watching at the end, and we can do give ourselves a command block. And basically a bunch of redstone components. I've changed the texture for my command block. This part is basically how you make blocks move. Because that's basically the really important part. 17 by 17. 17. And then if we press F3 or tab and F3, caps lock and F3, shift and F3. Or if we turn it on in bedrock by go, it's like in settings game and you just press show coordinates. Just look at it and write targeted block. And then you want to go to the opposite corner and write that block too. Copy it. Forward slash fill. Light underscore blue underscore concrete. Then it's two, one. Oh, what's happened there? That was very weird. One, one, two. So you can just build a circle like this. Then obviously the rotatey bit is pink. I'm going to go slap bang in in the centre. So then we're going to create our first frame. A thing again. So this is kind of already selected. But this time we're going to go. Oh, 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 oh. One up. Forward slash. Copy it. Copy this. And then do the next frame. So you, you can make this as detailed as you want. It depends how uh, good you want it to be. But I think um, just going like diet, just like this is decent because it, it's probably going to take a while anyway. And you just basically build every single frame. You don't need to redo the first frame or anything. And it will just simply loop back round. Finally done all of these frames right here. You have to get the coordinates of every single one uh, but it's not just opposite corner you have to make sure you do a block up so I've already got the coordinates for the first one um, you can write down this on paper notepad works a lot better like on your phone so just make sure you're making the same kind of selection like if you're gonna do like say bottom right corner to top left keep always do that with the same height that's just for safety because you don't want to find out that this coordinate thing is not going to work for you okay so i've finally written down all of the coordinates so we are now ready to write these commands eight frames so uh, choose how quick you want it to switch so 20 ticks equals one second. If it's eight long, I think I'm going to make it 24. So you want to set up all these ticks now, just like this. I've actually made it a bit longer. I think you might actually want to make it a bit longer. It's going to come out here. Now I'm going to leave a two gap in between each one in case I want to make a bigger delay. Changed my command block texture. I'm going to do balls as high as I can just to see. First clone, then the command block. So I'm going to squiggle, squiggle, minus 10 squiggle so then if we put a redstone torch on it we can see which way it copies so it copies you see this way if you know what I mean sure I get this block here uh, so that's I'm gonna do clone 2 just so I can remember minus 2 1 3 1 13 
and then we have it. So uh, I'm gonna first write in this command block forward slash clone. Then if you if you look at it, hold down control and press the the middle scroll wheel on your mouse, it clones the command. This is just so I can put clone in all of these command blocks. I'm gonna copy each of these, so I'm gonna do forward slash clone first, then I'm gonna do all the coordinates. So paste all the coordinates in here, or copy it from your paper or whatever. Okay, so we've just finished up there. Now I'm gonna change the clone to, so I'm gonna copy the clone to, and then I'm gonna paste it in every single command block. You don't wanna do what I've just done, let me explain. So I might have got the coordinates wrong there i might have to go one down and now i've just set it to um go down there without checking if it's the right place you know but it is looking good partially you might see some problems with it if we just wait yeah that didn't clone correctly okay the third frame is incorrect i think it's because the height is wrong or something i think think maybe I have to go to 305 nearly at the frame okay so now that's worked the wait time between your frames looping might be a bit slow because I've just got a bit lucky I set up these repeaters randomly and by the time this is finished after eight frames and this has started again so you want to do the maths all right so we've got eight times 7 is 56 so you're going to want to so say you've got 56 delay here then you want to add 8 because that one has to have chance to spawn this is kind of unbreakable like you break it and then the next frame it's back again i mean you can fall on through it so maybe you might want to put some bedrock or barriers underneath there then we want to get the other coordinates so it copies from the top right there so I'm going to get the other one. Then we're going to want to extend these for more whirly gig things. So, one, two, put uh, a repeater on all of these. I'm going to shorten all the re repeater de delays. I'm going to shorten all my repeater de delays because I, I don't want to do the math. And then we're going to look at this command block, hold down control and press on it. And then that's cloned. So, I'm going to do this for all of them. Then I'm going to pop these all in. We're now going to replace it with different coordinates. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother doing the last spinning thing because I think you get the idea. Now you see these are kind of overlapping so you might not want to do that but there is a fix to it because the useful thing about this is I can edit these and it will copy down there. So if I just get, and then if I fill all of these in then they're not fighting against each other for, the, for light blue concrete to be there or normal blue concrete. And there should be, a, a yellow concrete oh my god my pit uh, my there i'm going to clear my inventory there, there should be like a squiggly thing if you know what i mean you can see there's a purpley spinny thing so we're obviously one are going to want to add those this is basically the same as you did for this one we're going to obviously want to build the frames for this like this and then you obviously you get you copy those command blocks so we get the position of both of them you can see there's not a block there but we're still going to want to make a selection uh this this repeaters can take can be uh, a lot smaller i'm just going to bang a quick one together here now obviously I haven't gone and got the location here, so I'm just going to set this to minus 10 blocks underneath us to see how it copies. Oh, that's not even linked up. There we go, it's copied. So this is where the command block was, and if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, that's going to be actually bottom right here. So now we can just set this loop going, I guess. These don't really need to be that fast. Oh, this is stuck. I, I really don't understand why do these things get stuck. It's just really confusing. Okay, it's not can stuck. It's not stuck now. So we see four. It's a delay of nine, so this needs to be ten, four, eight, ten. Oh, it's gone out. So yeah, four, eight, ten, just a bit quick, so you might want to change the delays, but you can just come past here. And then you can do obviously do that for the three here, the one here, the one here, 
and also the Whirligig here. So I'm not going to bore you with doing that because I think you understand how blocks move now. So now we can go on to the next game. I'm just saying for copying blocks, you're going to get a lot in the chat. So if you do forward slash game rule, command block output false, then that will get rid of that. Okay, so right here we have DoorDash. You don't actually need uh, redstone for the ones that aren't active, which is quite simple. Basically, we're going to make a selection of this pink concrete. And as I said, this guy's also made DoorDash on it. I'll put his channel link in the description. He's not the official full guys, though. We're going to write the coordinates. We're going to look at it. Uh, and the other one. Copy it. Fill. And then we're going to do air. So then everyone's just like... Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, 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 uh. Yippee! Wahoo! So then you just basically do that for all of these ones, which you can like trap everyone in here. TP everyone to yourself. That's what the command does. And everyone's been TP'd here because um, I'm the only one here. Let's make a selection of this. Hopefully, you know how that works. Look at it right down targeted block on bedrock. You just turn it on in settings. So we get both. Um, we can copy that and then we can fill it with air. Uh, this is just this is called uh, Chuck You Out the Ring. I don't, that's not the right name. Uh, it will be on screen. Basically, you want to not get knocked out of the arena. This one's really hard, so uh, you can give these guys um, slowness slash effect give at e. And then you do that. So type equals Ravenger. You don't need the Minecraft bit. Then we can do slowness. And then we can do how long we want it for. And what the ampli amplifier could be. So this could just be 10. So now they're going to be quite slow. Effect clear at E. Holy flipping hell. Yep, you see what I mean? Yep, I've died. we got tiptoe. Let's actually build the correct route because we want that. You might not want to make it as a creative artwork as me aka what a brand a big tiptoe i want to grab a command block i'm actually going to turn my texture pack off for this um which you can download in the description which is for java it's a command block and do fill squiggle 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 so that's the area where it is air now we can either click at the start hold down shift click at the end and copy it and then put that in command blocks or if we can look at it hold down control press middle scroll reel and then that will copy the command block with the command block in it okay so there we have the block top here and write the coordinates do the same for the other side already has done the targeted block for me here and then we're going to do our what's it called is it a light pressure plate right yes yes Ooh. Oh, and you can see it's kind of already worked a bit. Yeah. Next up is hexagon. Place a command block here. Just going to be repeat, always active. Execute. If block squiggle squiggle minus one squiggle is, and then choose the coloured block of concrete or whatever block you want. I'm going to do yellow concrete. Execute at at a if block. Oh. Air, but this is really this is that that's how to make like the world's most impossible hexagon um it, it disappears instantly if i just set up a little track here um yeah it needs to run a command for it to actually admit something so what i've done is particle and then uh i've done just a random particle i think i'm going to do a different one just like wa dripping water um, and when we touch on this, it's, uh, it's sending off a, I mean, a comparator. Now extend this, and then this just put zero, 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 normal, viewing out everywhere. So in one, we're going to do execute if block squiggle squiggle minus one squiggle um, yellow underscore concrete unfill squiggle 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 minus one squiggle air. Then we're going to look at it, hold down control and press uh, the, the scroll wheel on our mouse. And that's going to copy it. So then we can do two and just change this to two. Because in a tick, you might have been able to jump to minus three as well. You have to do at, at A or at, at A. If you stand on it, it will disappear. Look how unreliable it is. Increase the hexagon up. Obviously, you would probably build yours into a hexagon. But I'm just going to build mine into a square because it's easier. 
So there we have a massive grid which we can play on now. So what I recommend that you could do is, I know you can't have more 0.25 of a block, but you kind of can. It'll, it, every block within 0.25 of you will um, will disappear, which makes it a lot more harder and a bit more realistic, I think. You might be able to stand on a block without it triggering. I recommend turning all of these up to 0.5, maybe, if you're having that problem, or branching out here. Getting the coordinate of the comparator by pressing Tab and F3, Caps Lock and F3, Shift and F3, Control and F3, Alt and F3, Fn and F3, or um, Command and F3, and then looking at it, writing down the targeted block, and also where it's facing. So I have that here, fill the coordinate and then air and then hold down control press the mouse uh, wheel the scroll wheel on your mouse and click it and then change it to which is facing uh, towards the west or whatever one yours if it's north then that's the default direction you'll go and then you can just place a, a thing in here and then that should make it a lot more reliable and also if you want several people all you have to do is just clone it so if you get the coordinate here and also the coordinate here so you've made a proper selection up here forward slash clone and then we can easily just add tons of more new players just like that so you can make slime climb using the moving blocks i've showed you and i'm going to show you how you actually make it a lot better so if we get a redstone torch command block it fills where it is now and like a coordinate all the way over there with lava oh that's not even oh flip oh okay it's still going and it slowly increases it up and then you have to race up you know let's just have some fun let's try it now and there's so many cool shortcuts in this look look at that shortcut i love this so much and also this shortcut 